bench press today. Going to be doing a uh, three by five, yeah. And this is the first time that we're going to be working with some like heavy weight. You know, last week I was deloading. Um, was really beat up, you know, from coming back from Florida and everything. So needed a deload. So hopefully that deload paid off and we can push some heavy ass shit. But not only that, feel good when we're pushing that heavy shit. Oh yeah, we're feeling good today, we're feeling good today. Like one set, just to warm up, bar, no weight, and I already feel like I need to take off the pump cover because my muscles are about to explode in a good way. You know what I mean? I compare it to when you're, you know what, is about to explode when you're doing you know what. Same feeling, feels great. I'm like peaking right now. Um. So I think we're not gonna take the pump cover off yet. We're gonna kind of edge ourselves, you know? So maybe do two more warm-up sets, you know, and really, really get the blood pumping. Get the muscles screaming to take off the pump cover and uh, do the do the do. Trying to get my style points in for today. Kind of been lacking. I don't know. I feel like too much time has gone on where I haven't been getting the style points. So like point system wise, I'm kind of in last place. So trying to edge my way up to the top of the style points, you know, doing some uh, flashy shit here and there, you know. So we remove the pump cover, right? And pump cover for me is like waste for Rock Lee, you know what I'm saying? I take it off, I feel stronger. Um, blood just, like even more blood starts pumping to the body because my body knows it's ready. As soon as I take off the pump cover, I feel more free. I feel like, I feel reborn when I take it off. So like, we took it off. Shit should be moving, moving now. Gosh, dude, like removing the pump cover got me feeling like fucking Spider-Man. You know how he's got to hold his shit uh, back when he punches people, otherwise he'll punch off their like fucking faces. I gotta like do the same when I'm benching, you know? It's like, if I don't try to hold back my strength, especially with the Burks on, then this shit will just fly through the ceiling, fly into orbit. You'll never see that bar again. So, I mean, the Burks are a blessing and a curse. You know, blessing, shit feels easy, but it does get annoying having to constantly hold back my strength. Like, come on. You know what I mean? Like, that, I could have sent that shit flying, you know? Um, so we're kind of in a rough spot. I didn't notice it till now, but... Ryan's not here, which is always a problem that pre presents itself when I'm recording these gym vlogs because I have my cameraman um, and then I usually have Ryan here during push movements to give me a spot, but he's not here, you know, so gonna have to go into these spotter lists. So a challenge, but you know, with the Burks and the pump cover removed, shouldn't really be too much of a big deal. Yeah, you know what I mean? 
It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. One set away from the three sets of working sets. Important water announcement. Drink your fucking water. Like people underestimate how much being hydrated can do for you. You could literally go from having everything feel heavy as fuck to the point where you think you need to deload to just feeling like the man and having the weights feel good if you're hydrated, you know what I mean? Like I'm telling you a lot of the time, like if you're feeling tired um, and you're just like not feeling it in the gym, you're dehydrated, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people just don't drink as much water as they think they do, so stay hydrated, you know? And if you find it hard for you to just like get that amount of water in, just get like hydrating shit, you know what I mean? Like I have electrolytes and shit like that for days where I just don't really feel like drinking a fuck ton of water just to get myself hydrated, you know what I'm saying? So stay hydrated, my beautiful kings and queens, and lift heavy. Water and heavy shit. That felt good. It felt good like sliding into a version for the first time, you know what I mean? Shit felt great. So now, we pit on the heavy shit, which would be 328, and we still see if it feels like being inside a verge, or if it feels like poop and feels like throwing a rock down a big ass tunnel. All right, so, not on the heavy shit. Normally I would be nervous because I don't have Ryan here, don't have a spotter, so no lift off, but I don't know, I just feel good today. I don't know, like I've been kind of reflecting um, back on life and just really thankful to God for where I'm at. Right now, the person I've become, the person I'm gonna continue to become. Um, also thankful, you know, that God has blessed me with a super amazing supportive community. You know what I mean? Like, dude, you guys just always have my back. You know, even when there's some dumbass commenting some stupid shit, it's like I don't even have to respond because the croc cult, you guys have my back. Um, been making some gains with my physique, making gains with my strength, you know, and I just have a lot of blessed people in my life. So I feel good, you know what I mean? So. Um, despite the challenges, you know, today with lifting the weight, I just feel good. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that we'll get it done. You ever feeling down on yourself, down on life? Reflect and look at the things that you do have that you should be thankful for. Telling you, man, count your blessings, it will feel good. And you feel good enough to lift heavy stuff. Uh, this shit should fly. Uh, for me personally, like when it comes to three by fives and three by threes, it takes me at least one heavy set 
you know, of the five or three to get like fully warmed up and equipped. And then second set is usually free, usually feels really good. And then um, that last set is, is again, usually free. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is use this as like a gauge to see, you know, where I'm at for that last set. Uh, I have decided since it's been a while since I've gone like really heavy for lifts that I'm gonna reset the progressive overload. So like usually on that last set, I like to add on more weight and then I keep adding more weight, you know, whenever I do them to that last set more than last time until I hit a PR and then I reset it, you know? Um, but I think in this case, instead of trying to go for like more weight on the last rep, I'm just gonna tie where I left off if I feel good. Cause again, I haven't lifted in a while. So if that's not the case, I'm completely fine with just playing it safe like a puss and uh, just doing this for the last set. We'll see. Feels good, right? But that last rep was a little slow. So I think I am gonna play it safe. Um, if I had a spotter, you know, so I can get a lift off, I definitely would go for the tie. But after how that felt, I'm thinking I might be a puss and just finish out the last set strong. I don't know. No. All right, so I decided against better judgment to not be a puss and give in to my ego. So we are going for the original plan that I talked about uh, of just tying, you know, um, what we did on the last set of the, we're, we're tying a max. We're, we're tying the max. Against better judgment, you know. But I have faith. Um, put the Burks on. God by my side. And um, just the crop call. I think what I'm gonna do to give myself the ultimate upgrade is just like close my eyes and envision that I'm on the platform and the audience is just full of crop call members. Like all of you guys just in the audience. No normal people, just crop call. And I have like the people cheering me on, you know, like, fucking pussy. And that should get me through it. And then, also as a secondary, I'm gonna do some envisioning. So, uh, imagine that you have some weight that's 335 pounds and you need to push it up five times to not be a pussy. Should be good enough. good shit it always is a good feeling when you come in 
and do some shit that you weren't expecting to do. You know what I mean? So that was a huge win. Um, an even bigger win because we didn't have a liftoff. You know what I mean? So that's a big weight. Uh, really fucking happy with that.